I want to tell you about a personal incident that happened to me. I was on an airplane flight and we were arriving coming towards Jeddah so most of the people on the flight were actually going for Hajj. Now as this airplane was flying and the food was being distributed on the plane, all of a sudden the airplane just fell out of the sky. You know, literally, it just fell out of the sky and dropped. The food trays that we had in front of us had hit the ceiling and initially everybody was just a little shocked and there was like um, some screams going out. But the second time that airplane did that, everybody just started shouting out on the airplane, Allahu Akbar, Ya Allah, and started calling to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, everybody getting ready to die. Now that was a very intense incident for me. And when I landed, Alhamdulillah, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala saved us, and I'm here with you today, I opened up my journal and I learned a valuable lesson. I looked in my journal and I noticed that the last time I had opened up my journal was the last time something painful had happened to me. And then there was many blank pages and then now this incident and then I realized at that point that I'm only turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when something painful comes upon me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَإِذْ تَأَذَّنَ رَبُّكُمْ and remember when your Lord proclaimed that if you are thankful, I will increase you. Now see, I understood from this airplane and realizing that I was only turning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during pain, that I needed to be more thankful. See, there's two schools. There's the school of pain, and that brings people back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there's also the school of thankfulness. Meaning when the good times come, if you're thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you can actually have more good things coming to your life because that's the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those who are thankful.